The Thai government has recently launched two major projects. One is Smart Tourism, and the other, the Doing Business product. Following the meeting of the Committee for Strategy National Administration, shared by Prime Minister Prayut Chan o c h a Welcome to Thailand Today program on NBT World. Today, Ms. d o n g Jai, a s w a j i n t a j i t Chief Secretary General of the Thailand Board of Investment or BOI, Office of the Prime Minister, she will talk with us why the government is pushing for the Smart Visa Project and how this new visa project will help promote Thailand 4.0 goals. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Thailand Today program. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, well. We are talking about a very new, a very bright future for Thailand and the rest of the world, I suppose, in terms of uh, uh, industrial or in terms of investment. Now, we are talking about BOI, so maybe a little bit. We want to touch a little bit on BOI. Please tell us. Okay, all right. Uh, the Board Investment or the BOI is a government agency yes. under the uh, Prime Minister's office, mm-hmm. and our job is to encourage investment in Thailand, mm-hmm. both local investment and foreign mm-hmm. investment. Mm-hmm. So certainly, we um, are responsible for providing a lot of measures mm. for investors mm. to uh, expand their investment in Thailand, both in terms of granting tax incentives and non-tax incentives. Mm-hmm. And one of the thing that we will be talking about today, the smart visa, is part of the whole ecosystem that would mm. encourage more mm. investment to Thailand. Mm-hmm. So, but but but, uh, but the investors uh, they invested by themselves. We only providing certain things for them, right? For yeah, we a, will be providing uh, tax incentives tax such as uh-huh. uh, corporate income tax uh-huh. exemption for a number of years, okay. uh, mm-hmm. exemption of import mm-hmm. duties on machinery, mm-hmm. uh, and also uh, exemption of import duties on raw materials mm-hmm. if the final product is exported. Mm-hmm. And uh, we also provide. Uh, A number of non-tax incentives, such mm. as the right to own land mm. uh, for foreigner for mm-hmm. foreign companies, okay. and facilitation uh, re- regarding visas and work permits. Mm. Now, smart visa. How smart it is? <laughs> What's the difference with the normal visa? How yes, is it? Uh, the smart visa is a new type of visa mm-hmm. that will be granted to uh, certain groups of people. Uh, such as experts, science and technology experts, um, investors, uh-huh. executives, and uh, startup entrepreneurs. Okay. But all of these people will have to be either working or investing in the so-called S-curve industries, okay. which are our targeted industries. Uh-huh. Uh, I think uh, a lot of people have heard about the ten. S curve industries. Yes. So the whole program mm-hmm. of the mm-hmm. Smart Visa is focusing around mm-hmm. uh, encouraging uh, investment and uh, encouraging talent to work in Thailand in the 10 S curve industries. Mm-hmm. So uh, and the the whole family or what? Uh, th- well, there I mean, are, they can come like. Since it is a special do... type of visa, yes. uh, there are a number of benefits mm-hmm. that come along with this type of uh, visa, and. Uh, There are a number of benefits, such as first of all, the the validity of visa is longer uh-huh. than years. a normal visa, four year, uh, up to four years. Up to four years. Um, okay. And it depends on various factors as well. For some people may not get four years, oh. uh, such as if, for example, if the the contra- employment contract lasts for only three years, oh. then we will grant three years yeah. visa. And also, there is no work permit required. Mm, okay. If The foreigners who um, are qualified, if they can work in the indoor uh, companies or projects mm. with no work permit required, mm. also uh, mm. there is no re-entry permit required. Yeah. So mm. these people can uh, come in and go out uh, many many times without having to apply for the re-entry permit, mm. and also the reporting uh, requirement at the immigration. Uh, normally, uh, foreigners living in Thailand have to report to yes. the immigration every uh, 90 days. Uh, uh-huh. uh, then this reporting requirement will be extended to one year. Okay. So one they only have to visit the immigration oh, oh, oh. once a year. L- little gap for them. Yeah. Uh-huh. And last but not least, uh, their family, mm. their spouse, and their children mm. uh, can stay in Thailand, mm. and the validity or the the length of stay would be uh, the same as. 
the, 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 the main mm -hmm. uh, smart visa holder. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, the spouse can also work in Thailand with no work permit required. But of course, uh, they have to be engaged in occupations that are not prohibited by mm -hmm. law. Mm -hmm. uh, how about uh, taxation? So in the case of the wife? Uh, they, they have, have to, to pay, pay tax taxes, tax. yes. Pay tax this is usual. just a facilitation. Uh, it has nothing to do with uh, taxation issues. Mm -hmm. Just to uh, facilitate the entry yeah. and stay of uh, the targeted groups of people. Mm, what, what I think is maybe because of they take advantage, because the wife take advantage by, by enjoying working uh, uh, you know, on, in, in the place of Thai people, but uh, they don't have to pay anything. Or, oh, they still know, have to pay have taxes. To pay. Yes. So it has to be reported. If your wife wanted to work, your spouse wanted to work, you yes, they have to, to yeah, inform us at the beginning, uh -huh. at the time the of applying uh -huh. uh, the visa, so that we know uh, what uh, these people are, uh, where they are working, mm -hmm. and what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, so the main objective of this is yes. just to what? The main objective is that as, as uh, you know, we, we uh. are encouraging the uh -huh. further development of okay. the 10 S curve industries, mm, mm. Uh, and uh, of course, maybe we, we have to touch a little bit on that, ma'am. Uh, on the S curve is what yeah. um, okay. automobile. We have altogether there are two two groups of the 10 S curve industry mm, mm. divided into two groups. The yes. first group consists of the so-called first S curve industries. First curve, okay. That means the industries that are already quite well established uh, in uh, Thailand, uh. where we need to have a further. A step of development. Mm. So these industries include uh, next generation automotives. As you know, mm. Thailand has been a major production hub for, the, oh. from, for automobiles. Mm -hmm. Smart electronics, mm -hmm. also we are a major hard disk drive uh, producer and also other mm -hmm. electronic company uh, mm -hmm. uh, products. Mm -hmm. Tourism, mm -hmm. but we'll be focusing on affluent medical and wellness tourism. Mm -hmm. uh, agriculture and bio te biotechnology mm -hmm. and food for the future. So these are the five the first S-curve industries. As for the new S-curve industry, uh, these include automation and robotics, um, aviation, uh, biofuels, biochemicals, digital uh, industry, and medical hub. Mm -hmm. So these are all the all together form a, a, a set of ten targeted industries for Thailand. But there are listening to you, ma'am. There are some some. Um, career or some, some business that is similar to Thai, and the Thai have done well for that. Suppose like wellness, um, medication, medical, and all that. This kind of thing is not, this is the worry of the Thai mm -hmm. entrepreneur, Thai investors, that the uh, foreign will be snatching mm -hmm. the opportunity from them. Actually, the, the, in the process of screening mm -hmm. applicants mm -hmm. for smart visa, uh, as the whole scheme focusing on the 10 S curves industries mm. and also on technology base. Mm. Okay. So, so that's you a key word. With, you have to come with technology. That's a key word. If you, um, so mm. I take this opportunity to yes. perhaps go into uh, a little bit further details of do. each category. Please, please. For example, because we have all together four groups mm. or four and a half because uh, mm. the, the, the spouse and children fall under one category as mm. well. Uh, but the main holders of smart visa, there are four types of them. Uh -huh. The first type, uh, smart T, we call smart T. Smart, smart talent. T, T talent. talent. Okay. T for talent. Uh -huh. um, this group will include um, science and technology experts. Mm -hmm. So not experts in any, in any fields, but have to be related to science and technology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you know, we... Um, there are still some shortages of uh, yep. uh, experts mm -hmm. in some of the technology-based uh, fields in Thailand, such as IT. Um, so they have to be in uh, science and technology field, and they have to be working in companies that, that are in the 10 s curves industries. And in the process of screening these people, mm. uh, of course, the BOI cannot do it alone. Mm. We, we are not uh, uh, yeah. specialized in science yeah. and technology. Yeah. So we have agencies in our network who help us, such as NSTDA under the, the Ministry, Ministry of Science. Of Science and we yeah. have DEPA under the Ministry of Digital Economy. Uh -huh. uh, we have other research agencies, mm. uh, such as the um, 
uh, Tista, mm. uh, Tista, mm. or mm. even the uh, National Research Council, mm. and so on. So we have a number of agencies in our network who can help us screen uh, these applicants. So that is one category: mm. uh, Smart T, yes. uh, Smart I. Uh -huh. uh, this is very important for the BY as well, uh -huh. as we are in charge of uh -huh. uh, encouraging investment. Uh -huh. uh, Smart I mm. includes people uh, who will be investing at least 20 million baht. Mm. But That's the, the point. Okay. The key is that not only just the amount of money, uh. but where they're going to invest. That is the key as well. So they have to invest in companies uh -huh. in Thailand that use technology in manufacturing or delivering services, and mm. also these companies have to be in the 10 S-curves industries. Mm. The question, how do we know mm. whether these are the targeted uh, companies? Yeah. Uh. Of course, we were not doing it alone. Yes. Uh, we have also agencies in our network who will help us. Again, such as NSTDA uh -huh. and also innovation agency, uh, National uh -huh. Innovation uh -huh. Agency, uh -huh. NIA, uh -huh. and DEPA. Mm. So we have these agencies who help us screen or identify or establish whether these companies are the targeted ones mm. for investment. Mm. Uh, and the third group is executives. Mm. We will be focusing on top executives such as uh, president, uh, managing director, and so on. Mm. And uh, they have to meet a minimum salary of 200,000 baht uh, per month. Per month. Uh -huh. And uh, also the companies that they will be working for would have to be uh, the companies that use technology, uh, and also they are in the 10S curve industries. Mm. And last group, startup, which is very important. Everyone mm. is talking about mm. promoting startups in Thailand. Mm. And uh, this smart visa will mm. also contribute to mm. the setting up of uh, startups in Thailand. Mm. As you know that a lot of foreigners would like to live in Thailand. Uh, is she good with smile? <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> A good place to live business, and also yes. a good place to do business. Uh, I think that's the mm, message that mm. we would, would want to send to the world. Mm. Um, so the last category of smart visa, mm. we will be uh, focusing on startup entrepreneurs who are endorsed by the relevant government agencies, mm. such as NIA again. Mm. Mm. So foreigners who participate in the endorsed uh, incubation Unit or mm. incubation centers mm. or acceleration programs mm. or similar programs, mm. yes. then can qualify for the smart visa under the category of mm. startups mm. or uh, startups who will have a joint venture with uh, government agencies or such as DEPA. They mm. may have some mechanism to co invest mm. uh, with startups or endorsed by uh, this agency, they would then will qualify mm. for the startup visa. Mm. But the startup visa is um, uh, slightly different from other types. Yep. Instead of giving yes. uh, four years, uh -huh. we'll be granting for the first time only one year. Mm. And mm -hmm. then uh, the uh, smart visa holders mm -hmm. under this category mm -hmm. would have to set up a company in Thailand within 12 months. And the company has to be in the 10S curves industry. Uh -huh. If they manage to do that, they get an extension for another two years. Not only uh, people that would help uh, foreign investment in Thailand, but also people who would help Thai companies, because Thai companies are moving towards higher technology as well, mm -hmm. and they need experts. Mm -hmm. Imagine investing at a strategic location in the heart of Asia that connects to over 3 billion consumers. Imagine empowering your business with well-connected logistics and communication networks. Imagine a 13,000 square kilometer modern gateway for trade and investment, the Eastern Economic Corridor, that provides an integrated infrastructure system, human resources, and R&D facilities. Imagine fast-track process and investment incentives that are customized for your business. Imagine a world-class destination for business and high standard of living. Imagine Thailand.
Invest in Thailand. Dear press members, starting from January 25th, 2018, between 13.30 to 14.30 hours, please prepare for a special activity. Facebook Live Meet the Press. Sugya Guru Rat Yak Lao. This time, Deputy Prime Minister Visnu Krungam will be ready to talk with every press member about his assigned missions and any news issues related to his responsibility you would like to know. Here is a place where amazing is never ending. Everywhere has a charming Thai way of life. Every moment is filled with joy and truly refreshes the soul. Every sense is awakened with unforgettable flavors to tempt your taste buds. Only a smile can make friends for no reason. Let's experience Thainess and share your moments with us. Thailand awaits you in the amazing Thailand Tourism Year 2018. If a company already settled, already here, and they like to join that scheme. That's my visa, yes. Can they? Yes, they the can. The president come, ah, yes, and they the change from the manager to be here, the president come by himself. Um, the smart visa is eligible, is uh, available to both uh, foreigners who are not residing in Thailand and also oh, those really? who are res already residing in Thailand. Ah. If they are qualified according to the criteria, of course, they can apply. They think it's too much for them to to follow, to start up with it? Uh, we don't think so, because uh, there could be uh, many uh, foreigners who are al already living in Thailand who can qualify for the criteria. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I think at least a lot of uh, expats who are working for BOI promoting companies can probably qualify for of the smart visa. Of course, visa. otherwise they wouldn't pass the uh, BOI hands screening. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, have you talked to them, some of them? Yes, they have we received, how do they, what is the comment, what is all about that? Be before we came up with the criteria, we uh -huh. have consulted with uh, uh, Chambers of Commerce, such as the Joint Chamber of Commerce, uh -huh. as the BUI is. Uh, we, we always have uh, consultative meetings uh -huh. with various Chambers of Commerce mm -hmm. and also the Joint Foreign Chambers of mm -hmm. Commerce. This so we had a chance to get some input uh -huh. from them. Uh -huh. And some of that input are also taken into account when we formulate the, the the, the criteria. Mm. I really appreciate for this uh, branch I thinking of this because uh, this is uh, enhanced to the uh, tourism and also the spend of the money, budgeting, I mean money of their own when they are staying in Thailand. Yes. You know, they can live on. And, and a lot of a lot of people who come to Thailand uh. have a great potential of setting up businesses here. Mm. And uh, Thailand is a good place to live and also to do business. Mm. So this program, we hope that we can also convert those people into mm. uh, startup mm. entrepreneurs. Mm. So what benefits the professional visa will provide for the investors and skilled workers? That's, we already talked about it, right? Yeah. Mm. So which government agency is responsible to certify this? Yes. As I mentioned earlier, there are a number of agencies, but ah. I think the- Ministry of Foreign Affairs? Uh, well, the Ministry of, uh, we have a sort of a division of labor. When we receive applications, okay. uh, we will send, there would be some, the so-called technical endorsement this will be done by agencies such as NSTDA, uh, NIA, DEPA, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they know mm -hmm. the technical side of mm -hmm. the, the, the thing. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we also have other aspects such as the, uh, we have to check the personal criminal records. Mm -hmm. We have to check the, the, you know, yes. the typical issues for the immigration. Mm -hmm. So we will send these issues to the immigration and also the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs mm -hmm. uh, that they have to work with agencies in the network mm -hmm. to come back to us. So if, let's say, uh, the applicants do not pass the, the screening uh, from these agencies, then uh, we won't have to spend uh, too much time. Mm -hmm. We will know 
from the very beginning that they they do not qualify, uh, they do not meet mm -hmm. the basic requirements. Mm -hmm. Because the technical mm -hmm. endorsement would take some time, mm -hmm. and it takes a lot of efforts to uh, understand uh, uh, the, the whole uh, the, the the issue. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we have two sides of the screening, the basic screening uh, on the sort of routine. Uh, that yeah. you normally do. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then the technical side. And the BOI will do the, the remaining screening, mm -hmm. that is, because we have the requirements such as mm -hmm. the validity of the con mm -hmm. employment contract, mm -hmm. the minimum salary, mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. But we, in fact, are playing the role of a coordinator because we receive applications. Mm -hmm. We send the issues out to uh, agencies in our network. We collect the inputs, mm -hmm. and we do the final screening. Mm -hmm. uh, and then issue a sort of a letter of endorsement mm -hmm. to the applicant. Then the applicant can use this letter when they apply for smart visa mm -hmm. at the Thai mm -hmm. embassy mm -hmm. or at the Thai consulate or mm -hmm. at the one-stop center for visas and work permits in case they are residing in Thailand. Because mm -hmm. they don't need to go out, they can go to the one-stop center for visas and work permits. And the BOI is, of course, managing the, because we, uh, it is, it is a, um, a scheme that we created many, many years ago with the cooperation from the Immigration and the Labor Department. This is a dream of the investors. It's been a long time, but they want it this way. <laughs> and so this is the message from the Secretary General of the BOI to say that it's not that easy uh, for, to, to secure it in case that you are not prepared mm -hmm. and you're not good enough to accept this. So that is not the thing. So um, this is a smart handling also. To, to we try, we try. try. <laughs> because it's not that easy anyway, like, like I said, but, uh, but uh, it can be done. Yes. Right? Yes. It takes a year, I think, by processing of this. My, my, as a layperson, I think uh, the, the, the people divided into people, people business that is dealing with uh, working on that easily can clarify for that. But how about them? They are really having real technologically, they are innovative, are mm. they? This is kind of thing, how do you prove? How do you uh, we actually, we already have uh, that kind of process. Ah. Uh, as you may know, the, uh, in the, the Ministry of Finance has a special scheme for uh, SMEs, uh, so techn technology-based SMEs, oh, yeah. and in STDA, is authorized mm. to do the mm -hmm. screening mm -hmm. or the endorsement. Yes. So we are adopting a similar approach. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the agencies that are in our network, they already have the capability in identifying yeah. whether these mm -hmm. uh, investment or this company will involve some innovation or technology or not. They mm -hmm. already have some, some uh, um, facilities or skills to do so. Mm -hmm. So we believe that uh, this can be done, mm -hmm. and we set the the, the time frame. Oh, uh, did a time frame because we mm -hmm. certainly we do not wish to to keep people waiting mm -hmm. forever. Oh, yeah. So we set the time frame oh. uh, from the time that we receive applicants applications up to the time we send out mm -hmm. the endorsement letter from us. That mm -hmm. would take no more than uh, 30 working days, mm -hmm. and we have uh, mm -hmm. agree with mm -hmm. our. Uh, the agencies in our network mm. that how much time they would have in mm. coming back with an answer to us. Mm, very interesting. So, uh, so your expectation is very high. Uh, certainly, we hope that this scheme would help uh, Thailand in mm. attracting yeah. not only people but yeah. also investment mm -hmm. and not only uh, people that would help. Uh, foreign investment in Thailand, but also people who would help Thai companies because Thai companies are moving towards higher technology as well mm -hmm. and they need experts. Mm -hmm. uh, I have been uh, approached by uh, some Thai companies uh. once they know about the smart visa uh. and say, oh, can uh, our experts uh. apply? Uh. So, and, and the uh, expert is all belong all to them, foreign experts. Foreign experts, for because uh. Uh, uh, some companies a number of companies, mm -hmm. Thai companies, are already engaged in research and development. Mm -hmm. And they mm -hmm. may need to, to bring in foreign experts to do research for them. Uh -huh. So uh, some of them have heard about a smart visa and they, they uh, send us an email, give uh -huh. us a call and say, oh, can we apply? Uh -huh. Why not? Yes. Right. Okay. 
Well, our time is up, ma'am, and uh, thank you so much for being here, and I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> We're ending up our program with great thanks to Ms. Doong Jai Asawa Jintajit. Uh, she's the Secretary General to Thailand Board of Investment, VOI office of the, under the office of the Prime Minister. We really appreciate you coming in our program, and uh, we are sure the smart visa will be a key driver to promoting uh, tourism and everything investment here, right? Thank you.